Tablansky. We're going to start a project where we're going to be building Dutch steamboat lanterns. And these are two lanterns that I built almost 50 years ago. They're about the first lanterns I ever really built. Um, this lantern is made out of brass and it has a grid which is made out of brazing rod. The glass is CD marine glass and I'll go into more detail about the different glasses that we have. And it's been electrified. Electrified lanterns are much more useful. You can put them in your house and when you turn them on you have a really nice glow. So this is one of my favorites. Um, I varnished it when I originally did it and you can see the varnishing is fading a little bit but actually for 50 years it's held up pretty well. Now this lantern here is made out of tin plate and it's been painted black to give it a, a different look. It's also been electrified and it's obviously not plugged in but anyway it's a, a simpler design and it's got regular clear window glass. So when I do my projects I used to keep a and still do keep a project book of all the different projects that I do. Now this particular project is in my project book and I'll take it out so it's better seen. This actually shows the design of all the different pieces. For example it has one one back which is 12 inches by 10 and a quarter so I would just when I'm cutting this out just take that dimension and cut it all the way out so it's pretty straightforward and on the back I have notes and the more detailed pieces so this really makes it easy when you go back to do another project so one of the important parts is when I do my layout I was always do it on a piece of tin plate so that I would have it for other lanterns because it's much easier to do the layout once and just trace it. So here's this same piece that's been folded up and as you can see it's got the edges on it on both sides so that makes it fairly simple. On this particular project it's got a fancy top and this is the layout of that piece it will be folded in a position like that and of course there's extra material for the wired edge. So let's go over the material a little bit. I, I already showed you the red brass and it's really got a nice color to it. It's my favorite and um, I had to get this rolled to my specific specification from a rolling mill. Now this is brass. It is 70% copper, 30% zinc. And as you can see on a side-by-side -side comparison, it looks really pretty yellow. This is what brass they use to make cartridges. Now, copper was probably the first material I used. This is a dome that's in the process of being finished. Um, and copper is very easily obtainable and it is sold in large sheets but this is what they call 16 ounce copper that means a square foot weighs 16 ounces. This is tin plate and this is steel dipped in tin and it is really fairly nice and very easy to work with. I've tr tried and made a few lanterns out of zinc and zinc this is a hundred percent zinc and uh, it's a little bit difficult to work with when it comes to welding because it has a low flash point so you can when you're soldering you can actually melt through it. So that's the different types of material I use. I also use turn tin which is similar. Now the glass that I use, this is CD Marine, it's uh, semi-antique glass and uh, basically it's hand rolled but it's fairly consistent in thickness and uh, it's 
moderately expensive. And this is the glass that was used in this particular lantern. Now this is 100% handmade glass. They make it into large bottles and cut the bottles and lay it flat. This is laid into an iron mold so that it has the rippled effect. But there's a lot of imperfections in this glass and it could vary from a sixteenth of an inch to a strong eighth of an inch. This is another CD Marine glass and this is clear and this really goes nicely with the tin or turn tin lanterns uh, because it enhances the color. So that pretty much covers the different materials. During this project I'm going to build out five different lanterns. One is going to be exactly like this. Another one's going to be like this but it's going to be 15 inches higher to the shoulder which would be about this high. I'm going to do a turn tin lantern. I'm going to do a zinc lantern and I'm going to do a tin plate lantern. So this is going to be a lot of fun. You'll be able to see how different lanterns look and it will probably take about seven or eight episodes to get to the end because there's a lot of details. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. So continue to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye.